Dick bitch! Welcome back to Rogue Warrior 2, the bitch cheese diaries. Fucking no. Oh man, that dude was trying to do the Neo dodge. I know. After he was already dead. That's not how it works. They all. I feel like this bit right here, one of the developers like had an idea for an actually neat game and just weasel it into the shit game he had to work on to make Meat Send. Because look, you can use those ammo piles as cover, but if you shoot them too much, they blow up and shoot bullets everywhere and kill people. It's like somebody almost had an ounce of creativity in them. Even though it's really just an exploding crate. <laughs> it's... Okay, so exploding crates are creative for Rogoy. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's read the map. It looks like they're doing something with the planet Earth. We've narrowed down the scope of this plan. It's a total go fuck. They're gonna blow up the Earth. <laughs> also, really enjoy that every level is basically him just walking up to a desk and all the secret plans just laid out there for no reason. <laughs> they aren't hidden in a safe or a cabinet. Well, no, those are for the guns. Oh, uh, yeah. <sighs> yeah, the big gun. Access the command console. Do it. Like, you couldn't even launch Goldeneye from that thing. That thing's Shit. retro as hell. Mm -hmm. You reading me, Admiral? Marcinko. God damn it, where the hell have you been? I've located the Soviet missile silo. Matter of fact, I'm standing in the control center. I don't care if you found the Virgin Mary doing a goddamn handstand. You disobeyed a direct order. I am gonna court-martial your ass! Listen, Admiral. We got a shit ton of trouble and no shovel. Computers here are the core of a guidance system. It's anti-ballistic and it's online. You are not serious. The commies got themselves a working missile defense shield. They can shoot our nukes right out of the sky. That gives them first strike capability. No look at his beard. I don't want to look at his beard. <laughs> You're talking about the end of the Cold War. You look at his beard texture, and you know what? It, it looks like like a floor mat for a car that's gotten a lot of fuzz stuck to it over the years. <laughs> they won't. These are targeting computers. I'll retarget. Use the Soviets' own missiles to wipe this place off the map. Remember, this is based on a true story. Mm -hmm. This actually happened to Dick Marcinko himself. Noted truth teller who's sworn <laughs> to never speak a lie. Brother, my day just got a whole lot more fucked up. Like, how how much of Dick Marcinko stuff is really like declassified? Can we look at the official records that this mission is supposed to be based on? Yeah, I like this. The only thing I know that he's done is like the SEAL Team Six shit. Like, I don't know if like any of his stuff is actually declassified. The Soviet fucking Union can fondle my hairy nuts. You, you know who uh, tried to uh, 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 get a working missile defense shield and couldn't? Mm -hmm. The United States of America in the year 2013. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I, don't... I love these fucking lame explosions too. Because it just like knocks guys over, <laughs> but the books are fine. Uh... After all the billions we dumped into that goddamn Star Wars program, who the hell had thought that the fucking commies would beat us to the punch? Hey man, the only thing capable of taking down the defense in time is me. These assholes down there are gonna wish they'd pulled duty at the palace today. A major shitstorm's heading their way. Oh yeah, I just had a nice smoke on the way, whatever. Mm. <laughs> There's a weird metal thunk the same time the <laughs> knife hit him. It's a really long knife. Uh, Got all the way to the front of that mask. So on top of like turning faucets on and just squinting at the developers to tell them what blood spray sounds like, do you think he just like brought in like a thousand knives to work one day and like a lot of slabs of meat and just started stabbing and slicing? <laughs> Just waiting for the developers to notice what he's doing and learn a lesson. <laughs> like the, the developers uh, asked, "Hey, hey, are those for us to model?" And he just shook his head, no, almost <laughs> imperceptibly. I'm he's just really fucking bored, and he just brought in slabs of meat to cut. 
it, it's basically like a video of the Cold Steel Knives thing. Except he doesn't have any broad great swords. Dick Marcinko isn't into that. Somebody very sheepishly tries to bring a microphone to the meat stabbing session. <laughs> <laughs> and he just slowly turns to him, pulls out the knife, and points it at him. <laughs> no, no, Dick, we're making a video game about you. You, you. you know that you're. Like, you need to give us advice and, you know, an insight into what you actually did. Right? And he's just sitting there, like, bench pressing and listening to, like, classic rock radio. I bet Dick Marcinko listens to the worst dad rock. <laughs> I will tank all these gunshots to get out of the Oh, I was gonna- I thought I was gonna get him with a knife. Don't act like this is live. <laughs> no, I actually- for I thought I was actually going to when I recorded okay. this. When I was chuck this guy over the railing and have nobody notice. In, in Soviet Russia, you are taught to ignore the screams of your comrades. Mm -hmm. Yep, rather be playing Goldeneye. Yeah. Oh, but it hasn't aged well at all. Yeah, look at this, though. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> also, I love the AI of this guy. Right here, this guy. Look where he's going. Where's he going? He's leaving! <laughs> <laughs> this is the most intelligent artificial intelligence. He's just leaving! <laughs> wait, wait, I'm, I'm in Rogue Void. Wait, what? I'm out. Oh. oh, hey, you. Yeah, st stand up so I can stab you secretly. Okay. Yeah. Alright. It's lunch, lunch break time, and Dick Marcinko is just walking around, just asking people if anybody wants a bit of his, like, ham and pepperoni sandwich. Except he does not use those words. <laughs> he just shows the sandwich in front of people's faces <laughs> and growls. <laughs> Hopes they get the message. I soaked it in honey and seven up! Oh! <laughs> I hope you just mean the ham. <laughs> yes, well, he wanted- he, he heard- he heard that recipe where he had, like, the seven up and all that, and soaked the ham in it. But he just dipped the whole sandwich in there because it's too much effort. <laughs> oh, fuck. Shit. Did this? Did the textures on that man's uniform just jump after he died? I think they did. <laughs> Why? I, I, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe that's how Demo Dick recalled it happening. <laughs> That's right, that's his name. Mm hmm Demo oh. Dick. Oh. So now we've got to plant charges on these missiles. Mm hmm Although we already launched one of the missiles at the place where you launched the missiles. Yeah. But that blew up the missile launching place, but not the missiles it contains. In the tail on the donkey. And that yeah. is our job right now. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yep. I won't say this doesn't make sense, <laughs> but I will say I don't care. <laughs> the guy just said otaku. <laughs> <laughs> if Dick Marcin go knew what that was, it would be a grave insult. <laughs> He'd kill that man with a with a stare. Oh, assholes like fireworks. X filled the bunker. All the creativity in this game went to like writing the mission objectives and, yeah. and the different um, acronym at the start of each chapter. Mm -hmm. That was about 20 minutes of research. It was a lot of work. Well, that and the exploding crates. Yeah. Oh, I get tired. Also, like, I didn't kill the guys the second time around. They just didn't appear that time. They just, did, they just did not spawn. <laughs> the game doesn't even care anymore. <laughs> well, don't go that way. If you touch the fire, it doesn't hurt you. Alright, go that way. See <laughs> if I care. Well, or rather, like, if you touch that fire, it doesn't hurt you, but if you walk too far in the room, you just die. 
Like, if you walked four and a half feet, you're fine. Walk, like, four and a half feet and an extra inch, and you're dead. Look, he's demo dick, not fireproof dick. Right. No one in the world is a fireproof dick. <laughs> <laughs> so close! <laughs> I, I bet that just killed you when you died right there. Yep. Send me the bill, cocksuckers. You already said that! <laughs>